as a creator of the show, how much input do you have into writing each new episode? Total control. No, um, we actually, some of the ideas uh, come from childhood. Uh, we actually have an amazing team of uh, writers, and uh, I have a, an amazing director, Chris Savino. So it's really a collaborative effort in terms of like what you see on television. It's not just me sitting there drawing or anything like that. It's, it's, I got some of the best people in the business uh, working with me on this stuff, so yeah. Can you talk about some of the adventures the kids are going to get into this year? Or sure, absolutely, little... absolutely. You're going to see Kick, uh, you've seen him parkour, you've seen him uh, skateboard, you're going to see him in a go-kart next week for the first time. And uh, I, will, I, I assure you, I assure you, you have never seen anyone drive a go-kart like Kick Matowski going to drive this go-kart. It is uh, right out of Gone in 60 Seconds, Bullet, all that stuff. Um, it's pretty wild. So you're going to see it. Uh, you're going to see Kick dance, actually, this season. You're going to see Kick singing and dancing, believe it or not. He uh, makes a promise to his little sister that he has to keep. So you're going to see Kick out of his comfort zone. But more than anything, you're going to see a lot of action, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Now, are you surprised how the voice actors have sort of evolved these characters through their improvisation and it made them grow and, and really, like, be different from season one to season two? I mean, these guys are pros. They're, they're unbelievable at their job. I just started doing voices on the show, and these guys are like... I mean, they're pros. They're unbelievable. What's pretty awesome, though, is when you watch, like, the first couple episodes and you watch episodes now, you do hear and you feel like these guys own the characters. It's, it's fantastic. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's been really awesome to watch. And these guys are so good in the booth. They feed off each other's energy, uh, sometimes too much, and we have to separate them. But, no, it's, it's been great. They're awesome. They're awesome. It's, it's one of those rare shows that actually let the actors get in the room and work together. And that must add a dynamic that a lot of animation doesn't have because people are in the room talking to nothing. Yeah, we, when we film uh, Charlie... Matt and Danny. Danny plays uh, Brad. It is like a laugh riot. Like, just because you're like, Kick, Gunther, and Brad are hilarious together. Danny and uh, Matt and Charlie just feed off each other, like you said. So it is, it's unique. We don't do it all the time, but when we do it, it's, it, it adds a level. In fact, Chris, as a director, uh, sometimes we request it, like certain actors, to be together because we know it'll be that much better. So... It's, it's, been, it's been great. And the clout of the show being so popular in its first season really got you some good guest stars. Can you talk about that? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, when we first started, you know, um, we started with, like, you know, we went out to Henry Winkler, you know. For, and for me, as a kid, growing up in the 80s, I mean, I was blown away just to have, just to have the Fonz even walk in. And he's such a nice man. And kind of from there, we got Alyssa Milano and uh, Debbie Reynolds. And then I started thinking, like, you know, this is a boy show. We should really start talking about athletes. You know, that's, that's what we do. So we went out. We, you know, Dwight was at the top of my list, literally at the top of my list for athletes that I wanted. So, you know, he came to L.A. We had a meeting. And uh, I showed him. I said, I have this idea for this character. as a movie star. What do you think? And he was like, let's do it. <laughs> and he loved it. And uh, had Tony Hawk and uh, Carl Edwards. We have the guys from PTI on ESPN coming on. Um, we had uh, Jay Harris, who's a sports center anchor. So we've really tried to, and Will Forte, my God, Will Forte from Silent Live. We've had just a cavalcade, Fergie. So we've had a lot of celebrities, but the idea of getting athletes has always appealed to me because they seem to get kick because they're the ultimate competitors too, Dwight in particular, you know, and he has this amazing personality. So uh, it was kind of like a, a match made in heaven.